So I said that I would never do crochet locks ever again, yet here I am. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. So today I'm showing you a quick tutorial of how to achieve these soft locks. Um, I actually told myself that I would never do faux locks, uh, crochet faux locks ever again because of the headache of having to pull your hair through each individual lock, crochet lock, and the time that it took to do that. That's why I swore off crochet locks. But then I discovered soft locks where you're literally pulling through the hair like you you do your you crochet the hair as normal but then you take hair and wrap it around and this is what it looks like and it's just it's amazing so I have reconsidered I've my stance on faux lock crochets and so these will likely be coming back let's quickly talk about the hair I used so um, the hair that I actually wanted to buy was the Bobby Boss New Lock. I think that's what it's called. But the hair supply store that I typically walk to is not is tiny, and they didn't have it. Um, and the reason why I wanted the Bobby the Bobby Boss locks is because they come in three different sizes, or excuse me, three different lengths. And I didn't want to do the 18 length, which is what these are, um, because I just don't do long. I don't like to do long protective style. It's just it's just not it's not my style um, and so but that wasn't the case um, so I had to use what was available and so I bought the golden tree be natural hand twisted locks this is what the packaging looks like um, <clears throat> these are definitely by far the softest locks crochet locks that I've ever used before um, they are fantastic and if you are looking for some crochet locks I would definitely recommend these though I this is day two excuse me day one <laughs> I put them in yesterday I would need to see for sure how if I really would recommend these like I'll probably do another video talking about them a little later and also probably a video to figure out how to take these out because right now I'm not sure how they gonna come out with the, the way that I twisted it so it's probably gonna be an, another struggle bus but we'll see <laughs> um, the next thing I want to say is these are actually quite tight and I think it's not because I think it's either one of two reasons it's tight because I don't typically um, do all of the hair at once I typically do like braid my hair the day before and then the next day do like the crocheting and the whatever else to my hair because I'm tender-headed but for some reason I decided to do it all at one all in one day bad idea so it's probably either tight from that or tight from the wrapping I can't really tell right now but it really feels like somebody like I went and got my hair done by somebody with who is heavy-handed and it's just it's been a struggle today but whatever the hair looks good I'm in love with it and yeah I want you to see how long this falls on me because I am 5'4 and currently the 18 inch comes down like right above it comes down just just above my butt um, so if you are a short person like me and um, like 5'4 that's about where the 18 inch will drop you um, if you're a little shorter it'll probably go a little longer if you're taller it'll probably hit you a little higher either way these are nice um, they feel a little heavy but I think it's just because um, it's just tight right now and um, it'll probably loosen up. The wrapping hair I use is the Altre something. I threw the thing away. But it's the same hair that I used in my previous video when I did some spring twists that aren't really spring twists that I learned after the fact. But regardless. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's get into the tutorial. So the first part of the hair I put in braids and in crochets off camera because there are so many videos showing you how to do that already and I just didn't want to waste time on that. So the rest of the video will show you how I achieve the wrapping portion of the hair. So the first one you'll see is a fast version of the concept of wrapping just so you can get a feel for how you're supposed to do this um, before I slow it down for you. So 
So now I'm slowing it down for you so you can get a feel of what you're supposed to do. So I take a portion of the wrapping hair and add it to my real hair and the crocheted hair and then I wrap up and then wrap back down. The reason why I wrap up is because I couldn't figure out my hand placements when I was doing this and so it was just easier for me to go up and then come back down. You don't have to do this but this was just easy for me. So. Once I go all the way up to the root, I come all the way down and I wrap the hair past my hair. If your hair is shorter than the wrapping hair, then it doesn't, as long as you're past your real hair, then you can just keep wrapping up, come back up and or go back down just depending on what you wanna do. If your hair is longer than the wrapping hair, I would add another piece of wrapping hair to it just so that your hair is covered. So the reason why I did the back portion of my hair and the middle part of my hair off camera is because it took me about two hours total just for the wrapping portion of all my entire head. And that was because again, I couldn't figure out the hand placement, especially in the back. Um, but once I got the hand placement that I liked and I figured out that I wanted to go um, wrap up first and then come back down, it worked out and it just passed the time. So that's it. The rest of the video will just be a speed up version of the exact same thing that I just showed you, just so you can get repetition of how you're supposed to do this. But it's super easy, which is why I only did a few on camera because this video will be too long. that's it pretty easy right um so thank you for watching and i hope this was helpful for you as you are attempting to do soft locks um so share like subscribe follow do all the things um and i'll see you soon my goal is to keep these in until my um hair appointment that's on the 18th and just knowing how i am i don't know fam uh, I don't know if it's gonna make it past two weeks, but we gonna really try because I'm really not trying to do my hair before I have my hair appointment. So quick, um, 